Hi, this is Mohammed Shakil here and uh, in this tutorial I am going to show you the generation of views using the view creation wizard in Kitsia View 5. So I need to do a few setup before I start with the tutorial. So let me open up uh, drafting workbench. So the standard is ISO standard, A0 ISO, landscape, ok. So before generating the views using the view creation wizard tool, you need to make sure that the part or the assembly for which the views need to be generated is open in the KTV5 window. So for doing that, I'm going to open up an assembly file. So uh, let me just take up the assembly of a radial engine. So you can always switch back to the radial engine assembly using the view uh, the window over here so uh, once now I'm going to open up the draft and workbench and our tool is right here the view creation wizard so once you open up this dialog box right here this dialog box provides you with the various options to generate drawing views depending on the predefined configurations so right here we have the uh, different icons over here with uh, you know with respect to which once you click the different uh, options are coming up so what are these different options so the first option if you choose a configuration one using the third angle projection method button from the view creation dialog box so the top front and the right views will be displayed in the preview area of the dialog box so similarly if you choose a configuration 2 so what you can see over here is the first angle projection method so as i said before in my previous tutorial always when you start before working right click and go to the properties and we are going to deal with the third angle projection so uh, to uh, you know maintain the stability of the tutorial will be uh, keep on working with the uh, third angle projection so make sure that you are in the third angle projection method in the properties panel so let me just open up that once again so as i said this is the configuration tool with the third angle projection method so in this method we have the top front and the left views displayed in the preview area so once you click on this and the next one is the configuration 3 where we have the uh, we have the front right and the bottom views so as you can see over here and if you go to the fourth one the front left and the bottom view will be reflected and if you go to the fifth one you have the front left right and the bottom one another one the isometric and the sixth one if you go you have the top front left right bottom rear and the isometric which is a complete package so once you select any of them over here uh, for instance i'm going to select the configuration 2 with the third angle projection method and on selecting this configuration you will notice that the front view is displayed in the green box this indicates that the front view is the main view by default the views link button is chosen in the view wizard dialog box as a result a relation between the uh, front view and the other views will be maintained so as you can see here we have the view links which is being uh, you know which is being uh, already selected so if you deselect this views link button the relation between the front view and the other views will not exist so you will come to know how this view link button works once you already draft one of your first draft using the view wizard dialog box so i'm clicking on the link to the main view <coughs> and uh, we have another option that is the uh, the next option is to set the minimum distance between each views so after selecting the configuration type you need to choose the next button from the view wizard dialog box to invoke the second step of the view generation to arrange the views in the preview area so let me just click on the next one and we have the second step the arranging the configuration so you can always arrange the configuration by clicking and dragging to the uh, left or any of the space right here 
uh, in between the small dots so you can arrange them you can uh, pull this down in any ways you can and once you're done with that you can uh, you know click on the finish so before clicking on the finish let me just explain you why these uh, icons are being kept over here so once you're done with the uh, you know first step uh, imagine that you need to place any of one more view uh, among the already defined configuration maybe the top view or maybe you're not happy with this configuration and you want to remove everything and you want to manually, manually set up everything so you can click on the clear preview and you can always pull your uh, different views and uh, place wherever you want so this is the main view in this way you can manually set up your own views so after setting all the parameters choose the finish button from the view wizard dialog box so uh, there is one more thing which is the minimum distance between each views so between each views there will be a distance maintained between the draft and workbench so if you place it as uh, 50 or 60 that will be that distance will be maintained so this particular option is to uh, keep a particular standard uh, you know throughout your drafting process so uh, let it be 40 as default and uh, once you click the finish option right here you have an option to select the reference plane from the 3d geometry for doing that you need to go to the window and you need to select the 3d part view and select the plane which is uh, which is going to act as your uh, front view so I'm going to select this XY plane and you have this uh, being selected here and you can invert it as I said before using this navigation and once you're done with that you just click on the outside and your drafting is being done with the view creation wizard so uh, this covers the uh, uh, you know tutorial this tutorial has covered the view creation wizard dialog box you know the view creation using the view creation wizard and uh, I hope you enjoyed my video I hope you followed uh, each and every detail of this tutorial so if you have any doubts clarifications you can just comment below on my video and I'll be getting back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching